and gentlemen, and Brooklyn Bound Tropical Storm. Back despite being so obscure, you probably haven't heard of them. It's the most clad and plaid band in the world, the Columbia University Marching Hipster Hurricanes. Featuring J Republicans shooting down every resolution in sight, J Democrats not willing to fight, and J Lady Gaga telling even though you're not asking. As well as the number of places in New York City where smoking is banned going up, the number of places you can't smoke in Columbia going down, and the sacrifices of looking cool at an all-time... <coughs> The band now presents an all-star gala halftime salute to secondhand smoke. <laughs> Recent media reports indicate that Iran has freed American hiker Sarah Shroud from custody for the low, low price of $500,000 bail posted directly to the Iranian government. Earning his reputation once again as a shrewd dealmaker, President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad said it would only be fair that we release nine Iranians in the United States. The band's seen this all before. President Obama will refuse. President Ahmadinejad will get all uppity, but nothing will come of it. And 90% of Americans will forget that Iran exists by October. But we have an alternative that is not only new and different, it'll also add to this fall's lackluster TV lineup. President Obama will demand a Rand Post bail at roughly the size of a Rand's gross domestic product, forcing President Ahmadinejad to pick just one Iranian detainee. To determine which prisoner deserves the honor of returning to Iran, they'll compete in a series of physical and mental challenges, from bathing with spiders to making a traditional Iranian place setting. After 10 heart-wrenching, unscripted episodes full of bravery, honesty, and hidden cameras, a finalist will be chosen. But unfortunately, in a completely unexpected turn of events, President Ahmadinejad will be left at the altar when the finalist will decide he'd rather just stay in America. In honor of zany reality TV plots, the band now forms Network TV's revenue stream and plays Toxic. <laughs> are looking better every Tuesday as those wacky tea partiers take the country by storm state by state this primary season. The most recent chorus of, oh man, I really should have voted yesterday, came from Dominion in Delaware, commonly known just for its lack of sales tax. Republican nominee to the Senate, Christine O'Donnell, a tea partier championed by Sarah Palin, has many selling points, including, and we quote directly, dabbling in witchcraft. We in the band hope that all of America, even itsy bitsy Delaware, can see the problem with this candidate. I mean, firstly, witchcraft stopped being cool after the fourth before Harry Potter book. It's simply a former witch in the Senate. Now, we in the band must admit that we're occasionally a little bit old fashioned, but we just can't handle the thought of O'Donnell taking out her supple wand and waving it around the Senate floor. I mean, 
mean, some things just need to be kept private, especially when it comes to stirring one's cauldron. If Karl Rove and John Stewart can agree on something, maybe we should all just leave the political witchery to Hillary Clinton. In honor of spooky elections, the fan now forms the Tea Party's odds in November and plays Living on a Prayer.